Hello my small fat adapted family and welcome back to the Keto Kitchen. Today I wanted to show you how to make the simplest angel delight that can have its flavour changed with the change of one single ingredient. Angel delight for those of you that may not know is a British dessert. It comes in powder form in little sachets and you basically just add milk to it and you whisk it and it will give you this absolutely delicious mousse-like dessert. Especially, and I'm pretty sure most Brits will agree with me here, the butterscotch flavour. The only problem is that the traditional packets of Angel Delight that you can get at your supermarket per portion are 15 net carbs and a portion is like that. Really quickly before we start the recipe, only 16% of the people that watch this channel are actually subscribed to the Keto Kitchen, so I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that big red subscribe button below this video. It's absolutely free, you can change your mind at any time, it will let you know when I upload new keto content and it really helps me keep making this content for free. Thank you for subscribing. I was doing well carnival month in 2021 and I had this idea in my head of something that would taste really nice so I gave it a go and it tasted like Angel Delight. So I then went and looked at the packaging of Angel Delight to see what's in it and it turns out that it's more or less just a powdered version of what I'm going to show you how to make today. Minus the sugar of course. I'm really not sure what took me so long to get this recipe out to you as it really is the simplest recipe I've ever made. I'm going to put it down to the fact that I was waiting for World Carnival Month 2022, which I am currently doing. Right, less talking, more cooking. For this recipe, you are going to need two ingredients, maybe a third, it depends on you. Cream, double if you're British, whipping elsewhere in the world to make sure you really get those fats up, and low carb protein powder. Specifically in terms of measurements, to make three servings of Angel Delight, you're going to need 258 ml or a cup and an eighth of your cream. And then you're going to need 34 grams or 1.2 ounces of your protein powder. In terms of protein powder, I'm using, as always, my protein. Their stuff's really low carb at uh, two to three net carbs per scoop, and their flavors are pretty darn accurate. Then the third ingredient that you may want is a little bit of extra sweetener if you've got a high sweet tooth or if your protein powder is not massively sweet. And when it comes to actually making the Angel Delight, it's so unbelievably easy that I'm going to give you two examples without making the length of my video very, very long. So you're gonna take your cream and you're gonna weigh out 258 mil. Then you're gonna reset your scales and you're going to add your 34 grams of protein powder. For this first example, I am using my protein sticky toffee pudding. This is the closest thing I have found in flavor to the traditional butterscotch angel delight. At this point, I like to get a fork and just give it a real brief mix just to stop the uh, protein powder from splashing up when we start whisking it. And then it just kind of leaves you with a super thick cream with lumps and bumps in it. And then once your ingredients are kind of mixed together so the protein powder won't splash up, you're just going to beat it with an electric whisk until it is fluffy. Don't overdo it and go more towards clotted cream or butter just until it just starts to get a little bit fluffy. I actually use my stick blender to do this purely because I find it does it within like a minute rather than a hand whisk that can take like four to five minutes. Of course, wipe down the sides of the bowl as and when you need to. And just like that, we have made our angel delight. So you can see when I say fluffy, it's still obviously got some sort of stodginess to it, but it's kind of like buttercream frosting in its texture. And it is absolutely not going anywhere. You can kind of feel when you get resistance with your whisk that it's ready to go. So let's portion this up. And just like that, you have three servings of your flavored Angel Delight. It's beautiful, it's quick. In my case, it's lovely and toffee flavored. And I think the thing that really gives it the Angel Delight feeling is the fact that the cream gives it this butteriness as well. Now, I know what you might be saying. That looks like little portions. That's not gonna fill me up. Let me give you one more example of how interchangeable this recipe is and how quick it is and then I will tell you the macros and that should hopefully 
change your mind on thinking that that is not enough. <laughs> Look, I'm so desperate to get another flavour out, I'm not even going to change my bowl. Same bowl, less washing up, quicker time. So, we have our bowl, we're going to weigh out our cream. Actually, do you know what, let's time this to see how long it takes. This time, I've got Rocky Road, which is like a salty chocolate. I'm going to reset my scales and add 16 grams of Rocky Road. Now I'm going to get my natural banana protein powder. I have so many protein powders. Anyway, I'm going to reset the scales again and I'm going to add 16 grams of the banana. And now my ingredients are mixed together but still a little bit lumpy. It is time to just whip it. And just like that, we have three more servings of Angel Delight in a flavour combo I have not tried before. I tell you what, I have tried so many different types of flavouring to make this Angel Delight. I've tried cinnamon bun, I've tried chocolate orange, I've tried Rocky Road, natural banana, eaten mess, strawberry, uh, tiramisu, sticky toffee pudding. I, look, I've tried loads and not a single one has ever disappointed me. They've all been absolutely delicious with this sort of Angel Delight or buttercream sort of texture to them that just kind of oh, just flows into your mouth like a cloud. And it's so buttery. But that does bring us to the reason why you get three little servings with them. One serving, depending on the uh, protein powder that you use, is 324 calories, 32 grams of fat, 7 grams of protein, and 2.5 net carbs. Making my carnivore-friendly angel delight a really quick, very high-fat treat. I would even say fat bomb worthy. Not only is it a great treat to have yourself, whether you're on carnivore or you're looking for a quick boost of fat or you just want a nice, fast, keto-friendly dessert, it is also great for guests. I have served this Angel Delight to many people, quite a lot of which have been high carb, and every single one of them have loved it. But it's worth mentioning, of course, they have all been British and have all loved the high carb Angel Delight as well. Now, with that being said, that is all for this video. Leave a like if you found it interesting, insightful or helpful, subscribe for more keto content, any questions, any comments, any queries, anything down below. Keep calm, keto on, thanks for watching.